Wait, did, did he say knock off the rush? Yeah. Can you even imagine? I would be all right. <laughs> Was it rust? You know what? He, he did say rust, yes. Oh. But that's what he meant. But we hear what we want to hear. You know how it goes. <laughs> okay. You know, everything old is new again. Or at least released again. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> and for once, they're re-releasing not just old stuff, but good old stuff. Let's start with a really good one and based on really real events. He's got supporters. Detroit, New York, Los Angeles, inciting large-scale arrests and sympathy marches. I'm very aware of that, Mr. Hoover. What I do know is nonviolent. What I need to know right now, what's Martin Luther King about to do next? Mr. President, Dr. King is here. Selma is the chronicle of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s campaign to secure equal voting rights through an epic march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama in 1965. And it was well received by basically everyone. So check out all 128 minutes of PG-13 rated biographical Selma historical drama available at Amazon.com and Best Buy, as are all of these we're going to talk about. Uh, diners, pizza, and a uh, gasoline car. Have mercy. I've been wearing the same underwear since Tuesday. I can vouch for that. <laughs> that's, that's like us during the pandemic. Uh, Steve Martin struggles to get home in time for Thanksgiving with John Candy as his only companion. It's pretty well beloved at this point, planes, trains, and automobiles. No wonder they've re-released all 93 minutes of R-rated planes, trains, and automobiles, somewhat R-rated, today. These are the armies of the night. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? I can dig it. I love these old trailers. In the near future, a charismatic leader summons the street gangs of New York in a, uh, to, in a bid to take over the entire city. The warriors are falsely blamed for his eventual death, and they have to fight their way home while every other gang hunts them down. Come out and play yay, with all 92 R-rated re-release minutes of the warriors today. Yay. Actually, I'm 16. Me too. Isn't it funny? The truth just sounds different. I'm 15. <laughs> a 17-year-old, well, a 15-year-old, high school boy is given the chance to write a story for Rolling Stone magazine about an up-and-coming rock band while he accompanies them on the road. He's almost famous, another one universally loved, and that's why you're getting it again. All 122 R-rated minutes of comedic musical drama that really is a must-watch if you're at all interested in music. I've got a bare knuckle fight, so I want to use the pie key. Fish your back to can't you? Ah. Uh, what? You're going to have to repeat that. Fish your back to can't you? You what? I couldn't understand a thing Brad Pitt says in this movie, and it's perfect. In a story of boxing promoters, violent bookmakers, a Russian gangster, incompetent amateur robbers, and possibly Jewish jewelers fighting to track down a priceless stolen diamond and snatch it in 104 minutes of R-rated crime comedy that is also highly rated all around. Maybe have the closed captions on for this one, but it's almost worth it to just guess what the heck half these guys are saying, but not for these other new, so to speak, re-releases in home entertainment, Scrooged, House of Wax, Skin Deep, Saving Silverman, and Deep Cover. That's a ton of great stuff to choose mm, from. I like it. There's a lot of stuff to play. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that is the Where best. Where are bottles? I was wondering if anyone was going to pick up on that. <laughs>